This heat wave is bad news for an already bad drought in California. The extreme temps are evaporating water from critical resources. So how will this impact your water use? CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Sacramento getting answers. Anna. Yeah, I spoke with an environmental scientist today who thinks that the drought conditions we're in right now are bad enough for mandated water restrictions, but that hasn't happened yet. Meanwhile, these heat waves we keep encountering are literally taking water from resources communities depend on. Unforgiving heat is no help to California's drought problem. Scientists say this year is one of the warmest droughts on record, and the sun is making water disappear from critical resources. It wants to evaporate off of the soils, up in the mountains, off of the reservoirs. Dr. Jay Lund with UC Davis says data from previous droughts shows heat waves can make conditions up to 25% worse than they would have been otherwise. If it's as dry as this year, next year, which is highly unusual, but it's possible, uh, then you'll probably see much more mandatory water conservation for cities. Professor Mark Lubell thinks restrictions could come sooner. The lesson we learned from the last drought, I don't see why we don't apply that right now. He's talking about mandatory statewide water conservation restrictions. A couple of smaller water districts in Northern California have already done this, some encouraging people to report wasteful neighbors. A study by the University of Wisconsin-Madison showed water waste complaints actually do increase conservation and can help manage a drought emergency. If people know that their neighbors are looking, they know that they could be reported, it makes it less likely that they're going to engage in that type of free riding behavior. In California is familiar with a culture of drought cooperation. Lubell says a lot of lessons were learned since the 2012 drought. There's more a permanent, some level of permanent change in water use efficiency that came from that. And researchers from UC Santa Cruz are already looking into a solution for this evaporation problem. They've been researching putting thousands of miles of solar panels on canals in California, and the state is looking into this as a possible solution. All right, Anna, thank you.